All right, we're here to test out a telescoping mast. I've been trying, uh, dying to make a contact on it. I have plugged it in before and uh, checked it out and just listened around, but I haven't uh, uh, tried to make a contact. So we're going to see if we can at least make one CW contact on this. And this right here is the sheath I made with PVC that the the uh, whip goes into, and that string we'll get to later. And then I got the measurements on the side there for each band and how long the uh, whip should be so there there it is shrunken down there is the mount brand new and then that spike uh, picked up a goodwill I think it was a toilet paper holder here are our uh, ground radials um, I have two sets of eight and I didn't go with the full 17 foot length for radials that's recommended uh, I just didn't have the room I wanted to go be able to uh, utilize a smaller footprint since my yard is so super tiny so I just cut the length of radials in half and just doubled um, there's the two radials sets of radials there and uh, I just uh, soldered them into those so I can easily attach them to the um, the uh, bolts on the um, mount there. There's the mount and then there's the uh, wing nuts that all uh, screw the radials down and back to this uh, little makeshift stake. I like it because I can make it smaller. And then at the very end of it uh, I just kind of hammered it in so we can go into the ground easy. Not rocket science. And I had to get an adapter for this telescoping whip. I got this whip 20 bucks on Amazon. Once I got it, I realized it doesn't screw into my um, my Buddy Stick Pro adapter. And so I had to buy an, that adapter, which cost $20. So here, since this is an 18 and a half foot uh, telescoping whip, I only need uh, 17 foot. I can uh, kind of wedge that string in between the top two sections, so it kind of holds it in place. And there's all the measurements there. But since I got this great idea off of Michael KB9 VB, VBR, one of his videos, his buddy Dave KZ9V. Uh, showed this, uh, this genius idea of tying a string to the top of the uh, telescoping whip and then measure down six, 10 meters, 12 meters, 15 meters, and all the way down to 20 meters so you don't have to take a measuring stick out every single time. You can just raise the antenna and just feel for the knots as they go by and uh, then that tells you which gets you in the ballpark of whatever band you want to be in. This time we're going to go start off with 20 meters and uh, we won't go all the way down through the list. We're just going to do 20 and see what it looks like on 10 because I have checked the other bands and it does just fine. But I, have, I haven't tried to transmit yet so that's what this is. We're going to try, try to make one CW contact. And so we'll screw the mast in. get a close-up on this oh uh, no nope. opposite of a close-up now it looks like we're gonna fan out the oh we're gonna get the radials out and see you can tell my backyard is not it's more it's not perfectly square so as I fan out these radials um, it's not a complete perfect circular pattern it's going to be more like eight off to one side, eight off to the other, and uh, we'll see how it works. So go ahead and connect these down. And with just uh, wing nuts, we'll just attach them like that. Pretty simple. I, have, I can't believe I waited so long to finally try this telescoping whip with these ground radials. Now I do have a Buddy Stick Pro and which I like a lot 
but it's a slightly different system because the whole um, whip is elevated around, I don't know, three and a half, four foot. And then that single radial, um, it has to be elevated so you you know you raise it off the end of it so it's not laying on the ground in other words so from the uh, the buddy stick about four feet up it just tapers down a little slightly around three foot and then uh, works good but I wanted something where I didn't have to do that I just threw things on the ground and uh, just let nature do its magic so now we're going to extend the whip And then as we get towards the end, I want to, we're going to feel for that last knot in the string. And that last knot will be 20 meters. So this, you can make this resonant all the way up to 20 meters. Um, now, if, if you wanted to do it for 40, you could probably put a coil on that and uh, extend it a little bit. So now we're just going to, um, once you get down to where it's 20 meters I'm just gonna eyeball it here's a little close-up we just take the knot and now I'm a little too high so I'm just gonna pull the um, whip down a little bit and just get it right to the bottom and um, that's what we're looking for just using the eyeballs so we'll go to, back to the uh, nano VNA and um, see what the VNA says All right, so it's on 40 meters right when I turn it on by default. So we'll go to recall, hit 20, and there you go. Looks very good, especially for the top end of the band, but I'd like to make a CW contact, so I'm going to extend the whip a little more, and uh, let's do that and come back and see what we get. And that is much better. That is prime for uh, what we're trying to do here to make a quick uh, 20 meter contact. So I'm going to pull up my parks on the air page on my phone and uh, see what's hopping. Well, there you have it. It definitely works. Works uh, quite well. So um, it's the uh, first time transmitting on this particular antenna, and I really like how easy it is to set up. I, I was thinking maybe the ground radials would just be a big pain, but um, it's the type of wire that really matters. Um, it's I'll try to put a link in the description of the type of uh, wire. It's very nice. It doesn't get tangled up. And if it does get tangled, it gets untangled really easily, so it's total joy. So let's uh, just set it for 10 meters. I'm going to, I know the very top knot is 6 meters, so if I go the second one down, that's 10. And just by eyeballing it with the knot, and let's go see what the meter says. All right, we're hooked up, so let's go back and uh, go to recall and hit uh, 10 meters, and that looks very good. So that's amazing. Um, works really well, super easy. So even when changing bands, I don't have to do anything with the radials. Let's just uh, see what we can hear. We're going back to 20, and we're going to go single side band and uh, I don't have a microphone hooked up to this radio so we're just gonna listen around and I'm gonna spin the dial 
and then we'll just kind of listen to the sweet sounds of 20 meters on a Tuesday afternoon and uh, we'll fade out on that thanks for everybody thanks to everybody for watching and 73 Yeah.